Candace. Um, so, excuse the previous video. Um, of my moving issues, I was very emotional, so we're, uh, stepping up game here. Feeling a little better. I want to show you my new toy. I am so excited for this. Um, I, as you know, I need a new laptop desperately and couldn't have been better timing because most of the keys on my uh, keyboard on my laptop have stopped working altogether. Um, usually I have to punch the keyboard to make them work and if it doesn't I have to get creative like uh, the S is a dollar sign. Um, forget X and Z that there was no way to fill that out so I had to find words that did not include those letters. Um, T I had to get a little creative with. Um, if the O didn't work, I had to use the zero. <coughs> and anyone knows what a grammar spelling Nazi am knows that I, I found typing like that unacceptable. So I couldn't have gotten this laptop in a more perfect time. Um, I did have it sent here because the shipping date... Um, was estimated between December 20th and December 27th. Because um, it, it was free shipping, but uh, the rest of the bundle, which was the laptop sleeve and uh, the matching mouse, was slated for delivery on this past Tuesday. Which it, it did come, um, but I, I didn't, I don't know why the, the laptop was shipped differently, but um, I, was, I was hoping it would get here before the holidays. Then we weren't home all day yesterday, because we were at the new house, um, waiting for the furniture delivery and whatnot. So, I did not think the laptop would come in time, but then it, it ended up coming, no, it, it was actually supposed to be delivered today. But the shipping date got bumped up a day earlier, and I was, like, stressed out all day because I, I saw it had been delivered. And I was like, oh, God, Neil, oh, God, oh, my God, um, there's all these construction workers out there. And, you know, people follow the UPS trucks around this time of year and, and still, still crap. So I'm like, please, 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 fingers doubly crossed that my, my laptop is there when I get home. And it was. Um, and it is glorious. So technically this isn't an unboxing because I did need to get it out last night and set up the updates and everything. <clears throat> but I'm still excited about it. So I'm going to show it to you. Um, and I had wanted this for a long time. This is a newer model. And it is the Star Wars Special Edition laptop from HP and this is the the two the newer two, 2016 model and it has a touch screen um there was one this one is an um the 8 gigabyte slash terabyte um model i know there is a 12 gigabyte 1 terabyte um model which would have been my second choice but it wasn't a touch screen and I'm pretty anal about my screens on my devices being clean um so sometimes I have a hard time touching but I I, I played with the touch screen a little bit last night and I actually like it a whole lot I think as a graphic artist that the touch screen would come in handy. So I'm, I'm glad I went with the HP uh, or the touch screen. <laughs> um, anyway, I have opened it. That's what the box looks like. And when you take it out, the end pieces look like that. See that? Isn't that freaking awesome? Then, uh, 
and get it back in there. This is really, really cool. Now, the stuff's not in there, obviously, because I used it last night, but it comes with this box, and I love this box. But what came in this box is your um, power cord, power cord, There were three things in here. The two power cord pieces. Oh, and the battery. Oy. Anyway, I just love this this box. It's magnetized and it, and it flips up like that. So I'm going to use this as a display piece and storage. And it's got Darth Vader on it. This is so cool. That is absolutely... Oh. And I am not a fan of HP. Let's get that out of the way right now. Every late, uh, every laptop and printer I've had from HP has been a piece of rubbish. However, um, this particular laptop has had excellent rave reviews um, since its first release. Um, and this particular model also had excellent, excellent reviews. And I do have, I did put, I paid like three or four hundred dollars for like a uh, really extensive warranty on it so um i'm okay with that so the next part of the bottom i'll show you the guys the laptop is just already out of the box it's we'll get there so the next part of the bundle um this came with it now i don't particularly use a mouse i use the tracking pad on laptops um i just feel like i have more control especially when i'm doing my graphic designing um, but this came with the bundle, <coughs> um, so I'm like, you know, whatever. But it is a Darth Vader Star Wars mouse. It comes with a little uh, dongle. But that's really cool. Then the next part of the bundle was a matching laptop sleeve. Very soft, but inside, when you unzip it, the piece de resistance, we got our Star Wars laptop. Check that out. Sweet. This thing is amazing. It is a, um, it is considered a gaming laptop. Now, why I don't specifically game anymore. Um, I want to get back into it. I want to do World of Warcraft. Um, I want to get back on Steam. Um, so, I'm, um, when I read the reviews for this, they said as a, at least as a beginner or starter, um, gaming laptop, it, it does everything you want and it, it's exceptional at it. So, again, I was okay with it. When you open it up, that's what the inside looks like. And I did spend two hours updating it last night. It, it came with Windows 10, but I wanted to uh, do the updates. But we have um, three USB slots, that slot, um, and it's got the... Ugh. The DVD CD drive, and over here we have HDMI, audio jack, and another SB slot, USB slot. So then you turn it on, and yes, the keys light up. Um, the lettering on it is kind of insane. Um, it's hard getting used to a new laptop. I have installed most of my programs on here. I still need to add Photoshop. Uh, do, do, do.
in a minute I will take the um, camera down and show you more things that you can do with this. So, um, here is the screensaver. And if you guys hold on briefly, I will give you a quick little tour of this. Oh. All right, so <clears throat> this is my screen you can um I, well i will show you if you go in to your windows button you see oh i forgot i can touch the screen right here if you hit this button oh hold on okay if you hit that button um you will Come up to this, this screen, and you choose your themes, and you have all these different themes. Of course, I picked that one, um, just to set it up. But you get all these different themes, and, um, you can go into your themes, and you get to choose whatever background you like. From different steals from the film or you can go over here to galleries and it it shows um old photos from the original films that are from Lucasfilm archives so you get to go behind the scenes there's collections concept art Illustrated art. So you got those. Sorry, folks. My arms, my arms tired. Um, let's see. Go back to themes. Then you go down here, and there's sounds. And I have mine set at oh, BB-8, but you really can't hear them unless you do something. Customize sound. I'm still playing with this guy, so um, I really don't have a lot I can show you until I know it better. But now one feature I like is the, which is, I'm sorry, it's very hard to see, especially with a glare. But your recycle bin is a destroyed Death Star. Let's create a file. Or a folder, or whatever. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can set this up a little better. Just gonna zoom in on that. I'm gonna tilt it a bit. Oops. Bear with me, guys. I'm just not used to filming in the bedroom. Okay, so we've got this folder, and if you watch the Death Star, I move, oops. No! I didn't want to recycle that. Lordy! Okay, I'm just, I'm tired and I'm being an idiot, so bear with me. I almost put the wrong folder in there. Hope I didn't delete anything. Good thing I backed this up before I screwed around with it last night. I'm going to put that in there and see, the Death Star fills out. All brand new when, it, when you've got something in the recycle bin. Then you empty it. And it goes back empty again. That is just the coolest thing ever. Um, let's see if I can get some sounds for you guys. Um, let's get, 
Turn the volume up. Put the zoom down. All right. I'm going to do that. I don't know how to make it do the sounds. To play the sounds. And this is under the BB 8 one. <laughs> so, for all these different commands and whatnot on your uh, computer, <laughs> you get different sounds. Let's see, I don't know how to go back. Right. This one I really wanted to try last night. So this one you got different blaster sounds. So that's really cool. Do this one. Let's do some good on here. I, my battery died in my my charger is in in the old car, so um, it's like a super fast charger. But I had to make do with this one. But anyway, I went into the Jedi lightsaber sound, and they're just different lightsabers. So, so we <coughs> we got sounds there. And back into themes. You sorry if I'm breathing heavy, folks. I I, I probably sound like Darth Vader <coughs> with this asthma going on. My apologies. You um you can pull up the pictures and the themes and look at them. So yeah. And you can send them to screensavers as well. And I have my screensaver set up. Let's see if I can find it. Display settings. Um, and I've already forgot where they are. So let me find that. Hold on. All right, here's your screensavers. This is mine. I don't think the screensavers have any sound, but uh, there's there's different lightsaber dual um, duels that go on in your screensaver. I haven't watched them all yet, but and this one's my favorite. All right, so. That is what I have my screensaver set to. You go back down here. You scroll down. Mm -hmm. 
there's the command center. You click on the Star Wars comic. And you get to read this. Maybe it's down. Nope. Hey. Hmm. There we go. So cool. So you get to read this um number one comic from nineteen seventy seven. Back over here. So I didn't mean to do that, whatever I did. <laughs> then you click on Star Wars Library and you get to read a sample of several different books. So yeah, you get to read a little bit uh, from some of the books. Close all. So you get five of them there. Go back over here. What did I click on? Dang it. Sorry folks, I am not used to filming. In the morning, and when I'm tired and stressed out. So we got Star Wars trailers. You can click on that. And you get nine different trailers from various films. <coughs> okay, hit it. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. Han Solo, Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Somebody has to save our skins. Let go, Luke. The Force is strong with this one. So you you get I to um watch the trailers from all the current films except Rogue One, obviously. Um, skip that. Then, I just recently discovered this, which is wicked cool. So you hit the R2-D2 button in your menu. Click on him. Oops. I didn't know it did that. If you clicked on him. Oh, alrighty then. Let's see what else it does. Oh, I learned all sorts of new things. Very cool. But he didn't do what I thought he was gonna do. Oops. Wow! If you click on different spots, he does different things. That is insane. Wow. Very cool. Okay. But he's not doing what I did earlier. So I wanted to show you guys. There it help is. me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. That is just so awesome. So he does that, and then 
<laughs> That's so awesome. Um, then my recycle bin is full. Empty it. And we got the destroyed Death Star. I wish you guys could see that better. And then, um, I'm going to unplug my phone from the USB so you can hear what sound, how the sounds work on this for different things. But here's an example. I'm plugging it. And then, plug it back in. Maybe. So, yeah. That is my new Star Wars laptop. I don't know what else it does um, as far as Star Wars related, but it is a really, really cool laptop. Um, I have to give it two thumbs up, but I can only show you one because I'm holding the camera. Um, it, it, from what I've tried doing other things, um, which has been minimal because I just got it last night, updated it, um, updated the Windows 10, um, installed, um, some of my, my programs and whatnot, but so far it, it seems to be a really great laptop. It runs super fast, loads everything super fast. I, I love this computer. I love the, the lighted keyboard. Which you can turn off and on. Um, the keys are a little odd and kind of hard to get used to. But um, I will figure it out with time. So yeah, I, this is just a really awesome laptop. Um, I am glad I chose this one. It was well worth the $1,400 I put into it. You know, I got a laptop, you know, the highest grade laptop with, uh, I think a three or four year warranty, um, and you get a really cool Darth Vader mouse and a matching laptop sleeve. I just... I love this thing. It is freaking amazing. It's so good to finally have a new laptop. Yeah, it's really, really awesome. I will probably eventually do a secondary review. Once I get in it, I want to see how the gaming aspects work. Um, how, how well it does with um, editing my YouTube videos, working with Photoshop. And everything but so far I really really love this computer um, I'm very very happy with it <coughs> um, I had wanted this for a while so when I saw they had a touch screen one I was on it real quick so yeah it's very cool to have a a touch screen laptop but that is it, guys. Um, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm kind of blown away by this laptop. But that's it for me. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.